Good morning, everybody. We want to thank you for stepping in here with us. And good evening if you're catching this on replay or a night, whichever word it is. We want to thank you for watching and clicking the button to, to hang out with us just for a moment. We give everybody about a 35 to 45 minute time frame in the morning because we know your time is valuable. But all these entrepreneurs from across the world are people that are shifting their life, whichever or it is. They come in here each day to get a message of love, of inspiration, of knowing that they can wake up and know that the awesomeness that they have with inside of them is bringing something different to the table of life. Dun, dun, dun. Nope. Wrong word, Gallery. No. So every day with this table of life, the energy that you're bringing to you, the love that you're bringing to you to kickstart your day, to know that you have the ability to go out there and create what you truly want before you even get out there to it. But there is a lot of things that I want to touch on today that I say that we need to say thank you for every morning. Are you thankful for what you truly have within your life? A lot of people go straight for, hey, I'm thankful for the roof. I'm thank you for the clothes. I'm thank you for the food. I'm thank you for the electricity. I'm thank you for the internet. I'm thank you for my car. I'm thank you for my wife. Things like that. Awesome. Yes, keep those thankfuls up. But the one thing that most people take for granted until it is gone from you is a part of your body. So if you lose your eyes, are you not grateful that you have them today? If you lose your hearing, are you not grateful that you have hearing today? If you lose a body part or something that is very vital to you, to be able to maneuver around this earth, to do the things that you used to do with the physical abilities, just to play ball with the kids, wow, catch it with that glove. Wow, that was fun. You had the hand, you could throw it back. You had the arm to be able to move, the shoulders that worked great, you know, things like that. The legs to be able to run after the Frisbee or to play with the dog, to go walking down the beach with your wife, to go dancing. I took for granted for many years my feet, the one thing that people abuse a lot, and you don't even realize it. But I abused my feet so bad that I had to have surgery on it, emergency surgery on one of mine, that put me down 10 years ago. And being down in that 10-year time frame, the darkness and the fear and the self-doubt overtook me to a point to where I didn't want to be here anymore because I took for granted something that was very vital to me, a body part. Hmm, didn't think that was something that I needed to take care of. But this physical body is something we need to take care of in all shapes, forms, and fashion, in all areas, starting with the mind, to know that you have control over it so you don't let the darkness and the fear of something that you have never even tried overtake you to where you walk away from the best opportunities that could be laid forth in front of you in, front of, in life. Getting up every day knowing that I am thankful that I can see my children and hopefully my grandchildren. I'll be able to hear everything that I need to hear of my wife, my children, my grandchildren to say, hey, I love you, Grandpa. Mm, I'm a grandpa, I said it. Okay, so that's what I'll be named. Never really thought of it. So now I know that. But every day, guys, we come in here and we bring inspiration, we bring love, we bring support. But I want you to take a moment and say thank you for what you truly have, the physical abilities that you have, the creativity that we all were brought here with, that we have been hampered for so long and put it aside and set it back. And then we started living life. And then before you know it, 20 years passed. Before you know it, there goes another 30 years. And before you know it, that dream is still sitting way back there. We don't have to let that happen anymore. Wake up each day, take control of the day. Know that you have the power, you have the energy, the creativity, the mind, the eyes, the ears, the fingers to be able to write those thoughts that you have down so you can put it on a piece of paper so you can teach someone else the same thing or to make them a little bit better, to make a training course for somebody to learn how to do knitting or to be able to boil an egg. Did you ever think that could be a, a video? Hmm. It's something that needs to go out. YouTubing is the biggest thing right now. YouTubing to show people how to do something. What are they doing? They're putting eyes on their eyeballs of what they can do and giving you something of value. And then at the end, it's usually a product that they're dealing with that they're working with that day. You know, people who do welding teach welding. Right? Why? Because it's a skill you can pass down. Those that know how to do electricity work, it's a skill that they can pass down. Those that know how to do network marketing, that's a skill that we can now pass down. 
Did we have that in generations 10 years ago? No, nope, not at all. You had network marketing, which was the word of mouth, billboards, newspapers, magazines, radio stations, stuff like that. That was the norm. Now we have digital network marketing. That's where your online world, your social media, your Instagram, your YouTube, things like that come in. We take advantage of those. We don't take those for granted, do we? But yet when it goes down, that free platform goes down for a day because they're having an outage or something's going on at their main station. Whatever it is, they're doing updates. But when it goes down, many people freak out. Right? When that cell phone down, cell phone, when the battery gets down to, oh, I only got 3%, I need to find a plug, I, find, I, got, I don't have a cord. Anybody got a cord that'll fit this kind of phone? Let it, they go crazy. But yet when your energy level or your body starts going down, and you're wondering, why am I so sick? Why do I have the flu all the time? Why do I have these sinus headaches? Why do I always have this? Why do I have this illness? Or why am I allergic to that? Because you might have been feeding your body crap for many years. And you really didn't know what you were truly feeding yourself. So feeding yourself the crap all these years, which has made it so much easier, called McDonald's, started really easy. Because I put out a post yesterday on how to do a table setting correctly. Between the dishes, the salad bowls, the forks, the spoons, the knives, the glasses, everything where they go. That was something that was taught in a home ec class for me. Then a year after I graduated in 1991, they took it out of the system. Something that truly needs to be met because when you can actually have etic etiquette, I guess I'm saying that right, in your life when you go into a restaurant, you know, and actually know how to go be nice and proper. It's a lot of things many people lack because they've taken it for granted because they've gotten in that lack state of mind. And it's so easier to run to Burger King and McDonald's and throw something on the table and sit in front of the TV with the kids and then complain about the rest of your body. Complain about the way you feel. Complain about the way you look now. Hmm, what have you been feeding yourself? You're taking that body, that physical temple for granted. This physical temple right here. When we ask you as a safety man out there, as a consultant out there in the safety industry for so many years, when I ask you to put on those glasses at a job site where there's sparks flying, where there's people welding, where there's dust and everything else that's going on at a location that could damage your eyes, would you not want to watch your children and grandchildren? Yes, I think you would. If I ask you to protect yourself, with your hands and your body, with chemicals and different things that you may be working with. Am I not asking you to do something for you? I'm not asking you to do it for me. Same thing with your life here every day, guys. Taking care and control of this right here, putting the good knowledge to it, actually putting some books and knowledge and watching some videos that actually are going to bring you in a different area of vibration to bring you to the different training levels that you want to go to, you know, because those love novels are not right? Actually get into some books of knowledge that are going to move that mind to help that body to assist this in growth. Because once you start tuning this and this in together, and then you get the physical aspect realm into it as well, then you have a better balance within your life. I am very thankful 10 years ago that I was in the darkness because I have, was a motivator before then. But yet I got so depressed that I was letting it overtake me. I am thankful that I went through that again to bring me to this next catapult that I was ready for 10 years later. Well, actually it was eight years later. So eight years later, I was ready for the manifestation of the person that he wanted me to be. The person that I needed to come out to where I could inspire other people to know that they're not in the darkness by themselves that they have a power and a light that they came into this earth with just like I did the day I was born, the day you were born. And no power is any more powerful than the other, depending on how you start harnessing it, how you start understanding, not taking it for granted, knowing that that power that you have within you is never going to go away from you. You are the only one that has turned the light switch off. Nobody else. Don't put a dimmer switch on your light. Have that energy. Take that creativity. Bring it out so the whole world can see it, understand it. Know that you have talents that we do not want you to go to the gravesite with. We know that you have a voice 
and an opinion of things on how things could probably work a little bit better. You might be a perfect politician that can come in here and clean up the world. You might be a perfect person to go in and clean up your own city. You might become a mayor. Who knows? You know, so be building a build business in an empire, your business and empire, yes. But once you get so much money in your bank account, then what? Now, what are you going to start bringing back to the world, to your community, to your family? What could you do as a nonprofit or organization because you are now a network marketer and you know how to do that and you can get the word out to more people because you have now have followers and a bigger organization of things that you could actually boost up something to help other places and things that could use that type of area. Take those knowledge and that's those skill sets, guys. Bring it to the next level. Don't just get in a comfort level because, oh, I've got a job. I'll be here for the next 30 years. Oh, cool. Really? Do you know what the next 30 years is truly going to hold for any corporation? No. There's no solitude in any organization anymore except the one that you build for yourself. The investment that you put in this physical temple right here. This temple right here that could bring these physical hands to do things that my physical feet aren't letting me do anymore. Yes, I was awesome out there in the construction world. I had fun with it, loved operating, loved being a crane operator. I love being a safety consultant. Those were fun jobs. Those were learning traits, traits for me. Learning traits to get me better skills in my knowledge of how to operate the computer in those jobs. And then I learned how to have better communication skills within those jobs. I learned how to be a better presenter out to large organizations within those jobs. So all I did was hone in on the skills to make me a better person. What are you doing to make you a better person? What are you not taking for granted every day? Don't take that voice for granted. Know that you have a voice. Bring it out there. And if you have something that you're so passionate about, the world is going to hear it, I promise. Because each time that you bring something of more value out there to the world, they will listen. Once you start bringing something out there that will inspire and change somebody's thought process by that much, people will start listening. People will start sharing. People will start knowing who you are. And keep on that track of what you're doing to move your life into a new direction. Don't take it for granted. Don't take this physical temple for granted anymore. Get up every day. Start doing something better for you in your life. Start feeding some better stuff within your, in your body as well. Getting some better foods, some better hydrations. Getting some physical exercise within that body. Then you can go out there to the world and then you will be shining. You will be glowing. They will see your aura. They will feel your energies. They will feel your frequencies. And they will know that you are a creator that came here to have fun and to be able to take those journeys and those adventures that others are scared to do. Why? Because you're going to blaze a new trail because of that's what makes you happy. Keep it up, guys. This is an awesome day. Brother Julio, see you in the house. How are you this morning? How's everybody? How are you doing today, Thomas? Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a beautiful day, man. It's a, it's a great. I, I jumped out the house, and uh, um, I just I, I don't know. I just had this uh, overwhelmingly like just uh, like I, yesterday. I spent a lot of time laughing. So this morning I woke up. I've I've been just in a like I woke up extra jolly. I don't know how to express that. <laughs> you just have an extra morning where I don't know if you guys have ever experienced the mornings where you just nothing has to you know. It's just, it just feels like it's going to be a great day no matter what there's, you know, and, and that's, I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's days where I don't wake up like this. So, but it, it's a good feeling to have it this morning. Um, you know, instead of there, there's times when I, I, you know, I have to go ahead and I, and I, regardless, I'll sit there and I'll pray in my morning. I'll go to my morning routine or whatnot in order to, to bring myself to a place. But this morning I woke up and there was just a, a certain happiness that I had about me, certain peace. You know, it's just a good, good feeling. Let's put it that way. Um, you know, I wanted to talk about storms this morning, Thomas. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, crazy storms that people are going through in life. Um, you know, the life of an entrepreneur is not always easy. You know, um, it's not. I, I think uh, a lot of people who get into to the business, so to speak, or they go through life. They go through situations, they go through circumstances, but you don't even have to be in business or whatnot. You know, we all go through our, our separate storms in life. 
you know, but how are you handling those storms? You know, um, are you panicking? Are you stressing? You know, and, and this is life in general, guys. You know, I'm not just talking about business that at all. You know, I just mean in general, when you're going through life, how are you handling the storms? You know, um, I think something I, I take some confidence in is, uh, uh, you know, the, the presence of God, me tapping into my source, me having an understanding that um, he, he promises to never leave us nor forsake us. You know, so in other words, even when you feel alone, Thomas, you were talking about being in darkness, you know, um, and, 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 and bringing the light to individuals and letting them know that they don't have to be in that darkness, that they can step out, you know, that, that you can be delivered from a dark situation, you know? Um, so I, I take pride in knowing that, you know what, that no matter what, I'm never alone. And I don't, I don't have people in my room and I feel like nobody understands my situation. Nobody understands my life or what's going on up here. Um, there's a fire truck coming by. Um, <laughs> You know, that that I can always confide in, in in knowing that his presence is near, that that I'm not alone in my life. You know, that's where my encouragement can be like I, I love the you know, not to bring out the Bible so much, but, but to bring out the stories in the Bible itself, like you know, he 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 can be with you in the middle of a storm and and you know, uh, it's funny how they, when Jesus was sleeping in the boat, they're like, Lord, get up, get up. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get, like it, 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 it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, you, you, the spirit of God, if you're tapping into to, 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 to your source, that's where your peace, that's where your, your stillness is. That's where your confidence is. You know, and for me, that that's my life's experience. That is the light in the midst of darkness. That is where my confidence is. That's where no matter what I'm going through, no matter what presents itself in my life, you know, I have that confidence. And that's, it's a fulfilling, you know, it's a great feeling. There's a sense of fulfillment. There's a sense of completeness in that. Now, I can only speak for myself. You know, um, people don't have those beliefs. They don't have those practices. They don't have that perception, Thomas. You know, not everybody does. And I, and I respect that. That's fine. But I'm, I'm to telling you what, what works for me. You know, there's days where we, we all have bad days. We all go through stuff. We go through situations and circumstances in life. You know, how do you rise above your past? How do you rise above, you know, rough times? How do you rise above thinking, you know, uh, um, now based? And what I mean by that is, you know, it, it, yes, we're living in the now, but are you planning for tomorrow? Are you gaining ground every single day? Are, are you digesting good stuff, you know, to, to set yourself up for a greater tomorrow? Thomas, you were talking about reading the books, you know, not reading uh, love novels and whatnot. You want to make sure you're putting good information into your mind, into your heart, into your soul. You know, your eyes and your ears are the windows to your soul. You go, okay, well, I'm depressed or I'm always stressed or I'm, you know, I'm, I, I feel this way all this time or I feel this kind of way or, you know, I get angry fast or there's, you know, I mean, there's different kinds of situations for all kinds of different people, you know, but regardless of what, what you're going through, like, why, why are you behaving the way that way? Why do you always have anxiety? Why do you always have stress? You know, what are you subjecting yourself to all the time? You know, um, I have nothing against certain types of music, but does a certain type of music make you feel a certain way? You know what I'm saying? Um, what have you been, it, it, it's almost like, um, the, what, Whatever we're subjecting ourselves to is going not in just to our conscious mind, but our subconscious mind, you know? So you're ingesting that. So gar not garbage in garbage, you know, it's a, in a sense, garbage in garbage out. Yes, that's true. But um, if you're putting fruitful things into your heart, into your mind, into your soul, then garbage won't come out. You're going to see the fruits of that. You're going to see that wealth, that abundance, you know, to see the fruits uh, uh, of you know of that so if you have a seed back to where I was talking about seeds so if you have a seed then you're going to plant good seeds in your heart and then good things are going to begin to sprout in your life you know but it's about what you're subjecting yourself to hear we get and also with those seeds that you're planting with inside of you that you're putting into you now what does a farmer have to do out there in the field he has to have belief that the seed that he put in there is going to grow. 
and he has to nourish. And then needs the water, right? So it needs water with inside there. So you need to, to nourish that thing, that seed that you put inside daily. You know, because anything that we put inside of us and that we want to come out to the world, it's daily practice, guys. Because yet it's, what, 14 days to make it have it and one day to kill it? Something like well, that. I got a question to ask yourself, Thomas, you included. Um, I I'm pretty sure I know the answer when it comes to you. But to everybody watching this morning, whether you're watching on the replay, you know, uh, you're watching on YouTube or whatever the case is, is your heart well? Is your heart well? You know, the balance between our mental, physical, and spiritual health is extremely important on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, um, faith plays a good a good role into my life. And and those who first hear me speak about the Bible, they hear me speak about the things of God, they think, oh, this is a religious man. Thomas, you know I'm the furthest thing from religion, man. It's not about that. It's about relationship and relationship with a creator because I'm connected with my creator. And the more you synchronize with that as an individual, the more still you'll be, the more grounded you'll be. You see, because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. You know, that's a reality. You know, so do you know who you are? Who do people know you as? You know, are, are you grounded well in, in, in your identity? Are you searching for that? Regardless of where you're at in your current lifetime, you know what I'm saying? I, I think it's so important to, to, to get connected with your source, whatever. I don't know what that is for you based off of your belief and your practices and so forth. I can't tell you what that is. You know, only you know, but in you knowing that or in you um, taking the time today, tomorrow, this week, whatever, to discover that, please, please do that to tap into your source, man. Because that's where you'll gain strength. That's where you'll gain ground in the times of when you're feeling weak, when you're feeling discouraged. You know, um, you can feel empowered. You can feel encouraged. You don't always have to have a defeated mentality. You, you know, you really don't. That's why me and Thomas always try to speak about the light. We try to speak about our personal testimonies because we know what's worked for us. You know, we're, we're, it's not about religion, guys. It's really, really not, man. It's about you searching for the strength in your soul, for the strength in who you are, for the strength in your person persona, you know, um, it, it, it's it's equivalent to you being around a group of people, right? And and all these people see great things in you. They see they see you 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 as being magnificent, you being smart, you being you know you having wisdom, knowledge. Oh, you you things, you know, and and but you look in the mirror and you don't see those things in yourself. You see somebody who who's ugly, or you see somebody who has uh, pimples all over their face or scars, or you see somebody who has bad in their eyes because of having a, a feeling defeated and oh, I'm always tired, I'm always overworked, or my life is so stressful, or I'm this, I'm that, or whatever the case may be, whatever it may be, guys. You know, you need to start seeing the greatness that's inside yourself. You know, you, you the full potential, that ver better version of you. And I think the only way a lot of people get there is have to really begin to do some soul searching, you know, within them. So is your soul well? Is your heart well this morning? I hope it is. I pray that it is. And if it's not, I would say take some time today in your job while you're driving, while you're shopping, while you're doing the dishes, while you're watching your favorite soap opera, while you're ironing, while you're doing whatever. Take a moment today, this morning, to close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Let there be a calming in your heart, a calming in your spirit. Let there be a certain stillness about you today where you can connect, man, with, with whatever it is that you practice, but connect, you know, tap into that source. Take a moment for you. How can you, we, you know, we, we, we're always so busy taking care of so many other people, you know, can you do that in a, in the, to the best of your ability. If you're not well, if your heart's not well, if your men mentality is not in the right place, you know, if you don't have that, can, can you serve somebody to the, to your best? Can you perform to your best? Can you live out that better version of you without connecting? I think it's hard to. There has to be a balance in, in, in all of this, you know? We're always so busy here, hustle and bustle, hustle and bustle. You know, I, 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 I really commend the people who get to a point where they can practice peace and stillness day in and day out and not have to stress out in traffic and, you know, go to this appointment. Oh, you must have had a call come in. Yes. But yeah.
once you get into that state, guys, once you get into that point of saying your gratitude to your source energy, to your God, to your universe, to your higher power, like he's saying, however you want to call it, once you get there, say thank you. Pretty much the words that you need to say once you get there. Nothing else. They already know your thoughts. They already know your desires. They already know everything that's coming and is waiting for you. So now say thank you for you actually getting to that state of being grateful for what you truly have and what you truly are and the physical abilities that you have, the talents that you have and the things that you are learning to make you, you know, a different talent that may come out within you. Have fun with it. It is awesome journey, guys, to get into that peace that he was talking about, to not have to worry about the traffic, to not have to worry about there, to getting out there into the reality that you can have the life that you truly want to be able to live and desire. To have fun with that right there, you designed it. Make it happen. And saying thank you the whole way you're doing it. All right, Brother Ryan is out here with us this morning. He's got a little message for us. So, Brother Ryan, we're going to pass it on to you, sir. Good morning, everyone. Starting a new book here. Well, getting back into it. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Before success comes in any man's life, he is sure to meet with much temporary defeat and perhaps some failure. When defeat overtakes a man, the easiest and most logical thing to do is to quit. That is exactly what the majority of men do. More than 500 of the most successful men this country has ever known told the author their greatest success came just one step beyond the point at which defeat had overtaken them. Failure is a trickster with a keen sense of irony and cunning. It takes great delight in tripping one when success is almost within reach. Short but sweet this morning, so. Hope but you all enjoyed. All, thank you, sir. You know, no coming problem, out here, spending your time, spending his voice, and he has an awesome voice, is a great reader, and brings something out of a book to us all the time. Because we talk about books a lot within here. You know, and we talk about YouTube videos and stuff like that in, in a lot. You know, why do we do that? Because we're feeding you a different knowledge to give you a different perspective of the way things life can actually be. You know, because like Julio said earlier, we deal with a lot of crap and bullshit out there in the world. Yes, reality. Why? Because people wake up to be grumpy because they have never experienced anything other than, you know, because that's what they seen from their grandfathers and their fathers. And they're always complaining in their life of things not always working out for them. And then this, that, and the other. That was just a generational thing that was happening. We here this morning, today, whether you're 17 to 75 in here with us, we are the chain breakers. We are shifting that DNA path that we are all taking because we're understanding the thought processes that we can put to ourselves to make us a better person, to know that we don't have to have that knee jerk reaction and getting our blood pressure up to here when somebody says something that just used to piss us off. But now it's like, that's their own thing they have to deal with. That's the words that they give out to others so they can make them feel better when really and truly they haven't done anything for themselves. They didn't feel their heart like Julio said. Their heart is not whole this morning. So they woke up with something that was depressing. So yet what do they want to do? They want to bring everybody else down to their level. Just know as the entrepreneurs that you see on this screen right here, we have learned to put ourselves in a different vibration and know that we don't have to come down from that energy from anyone anymore. We can move our life with this frequency into a better vibration because we're putting better thoughts to us. We're putting better energy into our physical bodies, knowing that we are a frequency source and be in that frequency. Then we can go out there and take this energy to the next level of life. Hmm. It's fun, right? Brother Alex, I see you got your hand up there, sir. I do. So I have some psychology. This is a little something that we call the ridiculous. Um, I don't know if anybody in here is familiar with our roles. And um, you're breaking up, Alex. Uh, Get into a little bit better area and then put your hand back up and we'll bring you back out. You're breaking up really bad. All right. Just wait till you get into a better area. Where you're at right now is bad. So, but energies and frequencies, 
that part right there is what shifted my entire life. That one day, 10 years ago, when I said, I have had enough, where do you want to go? Here we are today. It took about seven years later as things life and things evolved and things rolled and my energy levels checked right back up to where they used to be way before my depression. And then when they got back up here, it was like, Hey, Hey, then when I found people and found things, products and services and, and skills that I could do that I knew I couldn't do because this physical body wasn't going to let me walk like it used to. So I knew I needed to find something different. So what did I do? I opened up to the new opportunities that were out there. I opened myself up to know that I can do this. I have the powers. Why? Because that's what I want within my life. So that's the things that are going to happen. So, all right, brother uh, Alex, go ahead, sir. Can you hear me? Go for it. Keep talking. Um, okay. So with the reticular activation system, they did a study of um, Ivy League graduates, and they, they did a study over a 20-year period that talked about uh, the power of written goals. And what they found in the study is that 3% of these graduates had written goals and plans to achieve them. Uh, another 27% had goals in mind, but they hadn't written anything down. Another 40% had dreams of what they wanted to do, but they hadn't really set any goals for themselves yet. And another 10% of them didn't have anything in mind. They just they didn't know what they wanted to do. They didn't know where they were going to go with their life. Um, they went back and interviewed these people 20 years later. And at the end of this 20 years, the people that were still alive, of the, the people that they surveyed, the 3% that had written goals were worth more than the other 97% combined. And so um, written goals activates what's called the reticular activation system. And basically it's, to give an example of it in real life, if you purchase a new car and you're driving around and all of a sudden you start seeing that car everywhere, it's, it's not that more people all of a sudden got that car, what happened is, is the reticular activation system that works in your brain helps you to start noticing that those cars are all around you. So by writing those goals down, by activating that system within yourself, you're able to tap into that ability to where that becomes your focus, that becomes your, your goal, and that becomes what you're striving for, and you start to see it everywhere. Um, it activates confirmation bias, basically. You're, you start to see that stuff around you, and you start to see the things that are going to help you come into alignment with your goals. So um, I'd just say, you know, I've been working on getting some written goals myself. And if anybody in here doesn't have any yet, I'd encourage you to do so. You know, no matter how big or small, um, just writing that thing down and looking at it every day is going to help you. Definitely. Wow. Some powerful Thanks. nuggets right there, Alex. Thank you for sharing that. You know, see, that's what it's all about, guys information that is being passed around to make you better decisions right here within your life and hearing some things that we talk about every day about the power of the pen and journaling and writing down the goals and things like that. Now there's, you know, scientific more proof, you know, that what we're talking about is not something that we're new that we're bringing to the table, you know, so this is not, you know, uh, this has been passed around for a long time, but yet those that took action with it, see yourself in that different area and that different vibration and, and frequency level of life, you know, so perfect example right there of what we're doing here of bringing back something to the table to where you can now implement that into your life. Journaling guys, setting those goals. And like he said, no matter how small or how big, but guess what it is your dreams. So it doesn't matter how big you bring them or how big people, somebody say your dreams are too big. Look at them, say yours are too small. I'm dreaming big for my life because this is the areas I wanted to go in. If I truly accomplish them in life, awesome. All I'm doing is moving myself closer and closer to what I want each day. Each small step each day is going to bring you towards those goals. Will those goals shift in life and throughout time? Yes. You know, yes, I have big dreams for this right now. I am heading towards those. Yes. But will there might be a shift here and there for something that might come along that may be better than what I was thinking? 
think about that, you know, because there's always something better for us is what I've always been told. So if I can dream this big on something that I want and it could be better, do you think I might not go towards that direction just as well to make my dreams a little bit better? Yes, everybody would, you know? So taking that energy and that vibration that we have right there every day and keep in motion, never stop moving towards it, you know, until the day that you actually say, you know what, I'm done. I'm ready to roll. You know, get up and have fun with life each day. All right. We know everybody's time has been very valuable here this morning. So we're going to keep this rolling. So Miss Shannon does an affirmation for us to wrap us up this morning. So we want to pass it on to her so she can, uh, Give us some love. So if you got a moment, close your eyes, take a deep breath before she starts. If you're driving, keep your hands on the wheels and your eyes open. <sighs> take that deep breath. Now, Shannon, roll with it. Pick up the money on my calendar. Good morning, everybody. I will not forget to dream. I will not take life for granted. I will not forget about my health, body, mind, and spirit. I will not forget to have fun. I will dream and dream big. I will be grateful for life every morning my feet hit the floor. I will love myself and my body in all its entirety. I will have fun in my life's journey. The sky is not the limit, my imagination is. I love that. The sky is not the limit, your mind is. Bring it to that next level, guys. Keep being grateful for what you have in this physical temple. And keep knowing that the stuff that you feed it is things that's making you a better person. So if you're watching the CNN, you might want to click off. If you're going through other things in life, then just know that you have the power to let that light shine. So I love and appreciate you all. We'll see you all tomorrow morning. Same bat Zoom, same bat channel. Love and appreciate you all.